Offensive explosion is the one phrase that I would use to define today's ball game as Southern Ohio comes out and puts 15 runs on the board on 22 hits and they blow out the Stark County Terriers by a final score of 15 to 5. And Jake, the offense was terrific. The pitching did its job. I mean, really, it was a complete effort. Oh, definitely. I mean, Jake Carper was good in his outing. Uh, he, he pitched a lot, too, well deck. over 110 pitches. Went deep, saved the bullpen as much as he could, got the win his first of the season, 1 0. But the offense, 22 hits. I mean, the most runs and hits they've had all season. The top of the lineup was fantastic. Chris Pawinski, Joe Storino. Storino with the home run. He had four RBIs, a few hits as well. Chris Pawinski, he goes four for five. It seemed like he got on base almost every time he came up. Matt Glom added a home run of his own, too. I mean, this offense was just going one through nine. Everybody got a hit, and everybody got on base at least twice. It was a fantastic game, and easily the best game we've seen offensively from them all year, and one of the best performances offensively all season in the entire league. Eight of the nine starters today had at least two hits, and the only one that didn't, Ben Otto, had a hit of his own, and he was on base a couple of times, so really a complete effort. After the game, we talked to both Chris Pawinski and Joe Storino, who combined to go eight for ten, and they talked a lot about the offensive success of this team. I'm going to go with confidence today. Uh, we came in knowing we were going to win. At least from my standpoint, that's what it felt like, and we did, did just that. I think we're coming together great. I mean, we all get along. There isn't a single guy I don't like. Or I, mean, I think everybody likes me. <laughs> We catch fire real quick, as you can see it in a lot of games like this, and we've had so many games where we put up four or five runs in one inning and stuff like that. So once guys see a couple hits strung together, we've done that numerous times, and it's good to see it's real contagious, and that's going to be good going in towards the second half of the season. With the win, Southern Ohio goes to 11-7 and seven on the regular season. They are now 3-2 and two on what is a seven-day, nine-game road trip, and tomorrow they will be right back in action as they take on the Dayton Docks, but it will be in Xenia and it'll be at 1 o'clock, so make sure you can get out to the field. And if not, check into the broadcast like always, as Jake and I will have the call on CopperheadBaseball.com. And also make sure you look into all of our media. We say it all the time. You can go to Facebook, follow us on Twitter at GoCopperheads, or go to our YouTube page, search for Copperheads Baseball. We have good stuff all the time there. And with that being said, he's Jacob Corgan. I've been Ryan Boyd, and this has been a Copperheads Recap.